It may make you sad to hear it, but this is the last story I'm going to tell you. I know, you like to hear funny stories with jolly people and a happy end, but I don't have the strength for that anymore. What difference would it make if I lied to you? Well, my last story takes place in a land far away, a land that is about to die. It begins in the autumn forest. This is the story of Sadwick, the sorrowful clown. Sadwick is sleeping uneasily, like every night. And he doesn't even know that he'll destroy the world in the course of just a few days. What a nightmare. Every night it's the same. I can hardly remember the last time I had a decent night's sleep. Spot? Where could Spot be? He usually comes to see me in the morning. And? Yes? Did you put that note up here? Yeah, I wrote down the instructions for your human cannonball act. My human cannonball act? Sure! You must be able to do something useful, right? And Grandpa is getting too old for that kind of thing. It's only that stupid pen made me write down all my pure harassment, if you ask me. <sighs> ah, what the heck? I'd better collect the note anyway. Maybe I'll find a fire somewhere. Sadwick! You awake? Come here at once! The day's already wasting away! Ha! <sighs> right. Another happy day in the colorful world of the circus. Spot! Don't just lie around like that. What's wrong with you? What do you think's wrong with him? Maybe he's sick. The plague. Or food poisoning. Don't talk such nonsense. Worm fungus? Blue pox? It could be anything. He's thirsty, Sadwick. That's what happens if you don't carry out your chores properly. Spot can take it. He's tough. You've got a lot to learn. Caterpillars don't grow very old. Not if you treat them like this anyway. You better get used to the idea. You're just saying that to annoy me. I'm serious. You better give him something to drink. Yeah, whatever, Ben. Come on. Let's go, Spot. we we'll get you something to drink. And after that, maybe we can finally do something useful. All right, Spot. Time to have a drink. There you go. Thank you. 
Where are you going? I want to look around the forest. Don't get lost. Don't worry. What the... <laughs> I could have told you that. You and your sense of orientation. Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Ben. You look different. Is, is that a new hat you're wearing? I'm not Ben, Grandpa. I know, Ben. <laughs> They don't make hats like they used to anymore. I'm Sadwick. When I was a little clown, we used to wear real hats with big, firm bubbles. Sadwick, your grandson. I could knock out a full-grown ox with my bubbles. <sighs> I know that poor animal, but that's the way people liked their hats back then. Now, what can I do for you, Ben? I want to take a look around the autumn forest, but I keep getting lost. If, if, if you want to go for a walk, have you given Spot something to drink yet? Yes, Grandpa. All done and finished. Well, you've earned a little walk then. Ah, but be careful. The autumn forest is big and dense. Yeah, very, very much like my beard. You can very easily get lost in it. <laughs> Again, very much like my beard. I already noticed that. You'd better take my comb. I mean compass with you. Hmm, now where did I put it? Hmm, I know, it's in the trailer. Under the bed. Great. Thanks, Grandpa. Under the bed, right? Yes, 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 yes. Under the bed. I like to take a pinch late at night. Take a pinch of the compass? Yes, I know. It's unhealthy. But at my age, well... <laughs> Are you sure you're talking about the compass? Don't you mean compote? Compote? What are you insinuating? Did you nose around my notes? Besides, if I planned anything like that, it would be none of your business. You must consider all the consequences of such a compote, you know. A compote with broad ramifications? Yes, so you better keep your nose out of it. Oh, Grandpa, you're talking about a complot. You're planning a complot. A complot? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't need to plan a complot. I just made one not uh, ten minutes ago. Right behind the trailer. That's compost. Impossible. I carry the compost with me all the time. The compost? <laughs> it's in my pocket. I'm pretty sure it is. Just a second. Here it is. Grandpa, that's not compost. That's the compass. Really? Then where's the compost? W would you mind checking under my bed? Sure. Just remind me again later, okay? Now, I'm taking a walk in the autumn forest. I'd be back for lunch, you hear? No, thanks. I really don't care for petroleum soup. W what's that? Oh, nothing really. Thanks, Grandpa. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. That could actually work. Hey, Spot, I need your help. We have to get this thing open. Do you think you can do that? All right, go for it. That was none too bad. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh boy, that was close. And we'll pay for this. I could have croaked. I wonder if that's the key to Ben's casket. It matches. The casket is open. Hmm. 
Oh dear, he's getting more and more difficult each day. Ah, he's still young. He hasn't found his responsibilities in the world yet. He should carry out his responsibilities to the circus first, before looking for new ones. Oh, by the way, I hate you, both of you. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Never mind me. Ben is in a bad mood today. Oh, shut up, Grandpa. Just be quiet, will you? Yikes! There's somebody there. A stranger. I wonder what he's doing here. Hello. Ah! Oh, thank heaven. You are not an askil, obviously. I'm not a what? Oh, nothing. Everything's fine. At last, I've met someone. Are you from around these parts? No, we're just passing through with our circus. Damn, I thought it was too good to be true. Who are you? Why do you want to know? Are you one of the Askil spies? Could be. Ah, nonsense. <laughs> of course you're not an Askil. I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous. My name is Bobby. I've come from far away. Huh? Oh, yes. I am a Chusky. You know? And you are? I'm Sadwick. My family owns a small traveling circus. I understand. So, you're some kind of clown. We're in the performing arts trade. A clown, then. You don't look particularly happy, if I might say so. Chasky? What does that mean? What? You don't know the Chasky? The word means messenger. We perform important tasks on behalf of the king. Chasky. Now I remember. Grandpa told me about you. But you can't be a Chusky. Oh, yeah? Why not? Chusky, our noble messenger to Corona. Oh, yeah? And where do you think I'm coming from? Well, you rather look like someone coming from a... <laughs> That's right. Directly from the royal court. You? From Corona? I don't believe you. You should. I am a Chasky. And I'm on a mission. On behalf of the king. In fact, I don't really know much about the Chusky. Unfortunately, I haven't got the time to tell you about my daring adventures, which is a shame. They're full of suspense. Epic, too. And every now and again, there's a laugh or two included. Well, too bad. What exactly is your mission? Not that I'm really interested. Actually, it's a secret. But all right, I'll tell you. I'm carrying a precious and powerful artifact. The Whispering Stone. The what? Whispering Stone. Blistering Bone? The Whispering Stone! Why don't you listen? How could I with you mumbling like that? My mission is to take it back to Corona, to the King's Castle. Whispering Stone? That doesn't sound very powerful. I don't know very much about it, but I do know that it's very important. Otherwise, the Royal Stones collection wouldn't be complete. It's not a joking matter. As far as I know, the King needs it to prevent the end of the world. And now I'm supposed to help you with your mission, right? <laughs> The clown wants to help a real Chasky with his mission. Now that's a good one. What? I'm sure I could be of some help. Impossible. I'm every bit as good as you. <laughs> At least you're a pretty good clown. Whatever. Okay, so do your stuff alone. Hey, hey! Take it easy. I understand that you're fascinated by my adventures. Ooh, yeah, well. But you simply don't know what you're getting involved with. The life of a Chasky is full of danger. You'll get yourself into big trouble. If you want to help me, you'll need to be a hundred percent certain. I'm one hundred percent certain, uh, sure. So, at least you've got guts. That's a good thing. But are you skillful enough to? Well, I'm just as skilled as you are. If it's true, that'd be great. Skillfulness is one of the most important qualities of a Chasky. But I wonder whether you are optimistic enough. You strike me as being rather negative. Chasky are characterized by their incredible joyful nature, which gives us the energy to find a way out of even the most difficult situations. Are you really joyful enough?
Of course. I'm a clown, after all. Right. <laughs> How could I ever doubt you? Very well, then. It looks like you meet the necessary requirements. Great. You see, I'm really desperate, and time is running out. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not very good at things like this. Usually things get more complicated as soon as I try to help. Hmm. That doesn't sound either brave or joyful or skillful. Maybe I should put your abilities to a test first. A test? Yes. You could go and fetch me something to eat. A nice fish would just do the trick. What? I'm supposed to catch a fish for you? I wanted to help you with your mission. If I want to play the lackey, I might as well go back to my family. Hold your horses. First, you show me what you can do. I catching a fish for me. Then, I'll fill you in on my mission. Do you think you can do that? I'll manage somehow. I believe in you, Sadwick. See you later. Later. Well, let's see. A measly dip net for a measly clown. There. That'll work. Hey, that actually worked. Looks like the clumsy little brother finally accomplished something. I did it! I caught a fish! Ooh, yum! That's the first good news I heard in months! Will you tell me about your mission then? Of course. I'm a man who keeps his promises. But be warned. Helping me will put you in great danger. The Asgil are hot on my trail. I shouldn't even be here anymore. Now please, don't exaggerate. Mm. You have no idea, have you? Well, are you sure you want to get involved with this? We've been there already. I'm absolutely sure. All right then. Well, have you ever heard of Shana? Shana? No. Never heard of her. Who's she supposed to be? She's an oracle. A kind of clairvoyant. And according to the legend, she lives somewhere in the autumn forest. But maybe it's nothing more than that. Just a legend. I've already searched until I'm half dead. I'm going to cancel my quest. I mustn't stay here too long. I've got a bad feeling that the Asgill are hot on my trail. Say, about this Shana. Yes? What about her? Where shall I start looking for her? The only thing I know is that she's supposed to live in a cabin in the middle of the autumn forest. But where exactly? I have no idea. I came down from the hills in the east. There's a good view of the valley and the whole autumn forest from there. But a cabin? Not a trace. The only things remotely resembling buildings are those ruins to the west. But I've already been there. A couple of columns and statues, that's all. Then there's that cave near the mountains. And that finally leaves the forest itself. Maybe you could get a better overview from that giant tree to the south. I can track those places on your map if you want me to. Well, at least that's a start. Enough of Shauna. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What else is on your mind? See you later. Later. Contact me if you... That might work. Come here, Spot. Here we go.
There's an engraved. It reads, In memory of the mighty sea eyes. They watched over our world for millennia. They watched over us from numerous eyes. We brought them the green round fruit of the Fatalia tree as offering, and they rewarded us by bringing light into our lives. That's odd. Mason poetry. Yes, that could work. Hey, what have we here? There's obviously something missing here. Some kind of a key, maybe. Sadwick! Did you see that just now? What? I think it's the Askew. He found me. Oh, that's nonsense. You really are the biggest coward I ever met. But they're here. I know for sure. I need to get away as quickly as possible. Or we'll be lost if the Askew get hold of the Whispering Stone. Please don't go yet. I discovered something in the ruins. Some kind of mechanism. A mechanism? I must have missed that. There was also a socket for a stone. A socket, you say? Was the royal insignia next to it? Yes. How did you know? Good grief, Sadwick. That must be the secret passage to Shanna's place. Unfortunately, though, it's locked tight. That's as may be. But we have the key. Those insignia locks used to be quite common throughout the whole kingdom. I'm sure the Whispering Stone will fit there. The Whispering Stone? Well then, what are we waiting for? Okay. I mean... No, uh, wait. With all the excitement, I nearly forgot the Askeel. He mustn't find me at any cost. You can't be serious. But I am. I'd rather stay here. And give me the stone at least. I could go and talk to Shana alone. What? Impossible. I can't give you the Whispering Stone. The fate of the world depends on it. What if you make a mistake? If you don't give me the Whispering Stone, I'll never be able to find Shana. You cannot have the Whispering Stone. It was entrusted to me alone. I promised not to pass it to anyone else. But you promised we'd go to Shana. That may be right, but... Then give me the stone. We're virtually a team now. Or did I not help you before? Well, you did. And on top of that, I have those visions. I'm sure they mean something. It can't just be a coincidence. Come on. Give me the stone and I'll find Shana. I'd be surprised if the Askill found you here that quickly. <sighs> I know this is a mistake, but... All right, I will entrust the Whispering Stone to you. Thank you. You won't be sorry. Please, hurry, Sadwick, and guard that stone jealously. If something happens to it, we're all done for. Ha! I knew it! It matches! Hey! What's happening? Ah, an earthquake! No! Stop it, Spot! Spot! What? What did you do now? Oh dear. Oh dear. I'd better tell Bobby. What was that? Bobby? Bobby! Hey, what happened here? Looks like there was some kind of fight. The Asker got Bobby. Oh dear, it's all my fault. There, 
I applied resin to the turtles. Heck, now they're all sticky. Hmm, the dentures would fit perfectly with my little piece of art. Claw would go perfectly with my little sculpture. I've got something for you. Hmm? Who? Oh! An Asgill! Whoa! Take it away! Take it away! Take it away! Take it away! Oh. Huh? Very funny. Yeah, I thought so. There we go. Ha! Huh, I knew it. There's an overgrown path leading deeper into the valley. Shana, I'm coming. Hey, who do we have here? What? Where? I don't see anything. There's a guy wearing a clown's costume. Huh? Don't try to pull my leg again. You know darn well I can't turn around. Any idea where I could find Shana? Shana? She lives in that cabin over there. Uh, uh, Ralph? Man, will she be pleased? Ralph? Uh, I think... She hasn't had any visitors for years. Hold on. What cabin? There's only a door. What? That's nonsense. No, Ralph. He's right. Shana's cabin is in ruins. Has been for a long time. But how did that happen? <laughs> Remember that storm? Eight years, three months, and twenty-five days ago? Sure, I'm a rock. I never forget anything. In that case, you'll also remember the earthquake the next day. Of course. That was the day my termite ranch was destroyed. Damn erosion. So the cabin fell victim to the earthquake? No. Termites! I should have known. Does that mean Shana doesn't live here anymore? Oh, no! She still lives here. She does? Yeah. In the cabin? Yeah. Of which only the door still remains. Now you get it. Oh my, I'm getting that headache again. See you later. Yeah. You know where to find us. We're not going anywhere. Well, that won't work, I can assure you. What's he trying to do? He tried to enter the cabin the regular way. <laughs> what a greenhorn. Huh? Where did I end up now? How is that possible? Shana? Hello? Shana? Uh, Shana doesn't seem to be home. Hello, you two. Inko, look. The clown's back. How would I know? I've been in Shana's cabin, but she wasn't there. Why? What time is it? I have no idea. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> What's that got to do with it, he asks. What a greenhorn. Oh, come on, Rav. 
How is he supposed to know? Supposed to know what? Shana's an oracle, a magic being from another world. You can only meet her at certain times a day. At half past noon? Rubbish. Not half past noon, you idiot. Uh, but, but something's supposed to happen at half past noon. Nothing's happening at half past noon. The only thing that might happen at half past noon is the emergence of the first little hint of when Shana will turn up. And when will she finally turn up? In order to discover that, you'd better wait until half past noon. Don't you think? I hate you. So, what do rocks do for kicks all day long? What do you think we're doing? We do what most rocks do for kicks. We lie about and enjoy our simple lives. Which in Ingo's case is particularly simple. That sounds almost as boring as working in the circus. Why boring? We lie about enjoying the sun and don't get into harm's way. And we don't have any secret plans whatsoever, such as enslaving the world or anything like that. Ingo. What? That's enough. What did I do this time? You can't even keep the slightest thing to yourself. I didn't say anything, did I? I didn't say anything. It won't happen again. How could I have known there's a princess in that cage? Man, I'm really fed up with your excuses. But you know very well that we need an accomplice for our plan. One with legs. But not such a greenhorn. Just for your information, I'm not a greenhorn. See? He's not a greenhorn. Of course he is. An exceptional greenhorn. All pets are greenhorns to you. Angle. What's that over there? <laughs> what? Where? Looks like a lush meadow or a big tree frog. It's hard to say. It's shining so green. Come on! What is it? Hold on. I think it's... It's a... Yes, that's right. It's his horn! Are you finished yet? I plan to get a good share of abuse from other objects, too. A root, maybe. A heap of leaves. Oh, you want to disagree, huh? You don't like being called a greenhorn. Oh, wow. You've read my mind. After all, the opinions of two rocks lying at the side of the road are of greatest importance to me. You could try to convince us otherwise. I'd be surprised if he could. We should at least give him a chance, Ralph. All right. I'll ask him the questions. Even though I'm sure he'll make a fool of himself. We'll see. Of course we will. He probably even thinks Shana is a mystical snake creature. But Ralph, Shana is a mystical snake creature. Nonsense. Shana's a bird, of course. You are wrong. Possibly. But I'm interested in what our Greenhorn thinks. Now then, who is Shana? Shana is a mystical snake creature. So that's what you think, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Ask the second question. Yeah. I'm very curious, too. How many eyes do more eyes have? <laughs> that's easy. They've got nine, of course. You're an idiot, Ingo. They haven't got nine eyes. They have eleven. The answer is nine. I'll stick with that. No, it's eleven. Our greenhorn friend will confirm that in a second. Now then, how many eyes does a more eye have? Eleven. Is that your answer? You heard him all right. <laughs> Ask the third question. All right, don't push me. The question is, where does Kalita live? I know, I know. She lives in the middle of the lake. Rubbish. Kalita lives in a cave. You think so? What I think is irrelevant. The clown shall answer the question. Now then, where does Kalita live? In the middle of the lake. Lemmy, you're not a greenhorn after all. I always believed in you. Didn't I tell you, Ralph? All right, all right. Here, take the stone powder. And use it to extend our sphere of power. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. You know where to find us. We're not going anywhere. Hmm. This hat used to be much more pointed. Maybe the stone powder would be a good substitute for the starch. Uh-oh. That seems to have worked a little bit too well, and we're not like this at all.
summoned me. Oh, that... that was me, actually. He shall approach. I see only a child in the costume of a clown. I'm a... Carney. The Carney is lost. My name is Shadwick. And I'm not lost. I'm looking for Shana. I am Shana. Yeah, I... I already figured that. So, he's able to use his brain then. And yet he's here, where he doesn't belong. He may speak for the time being. What does he want from Shana? Who sent him? I'm on a mission on behalf of the king. <laughs> Laughable. The messengers to the king are Chasky. Brave adventurers with hearts of gold. This one's heart has the color of suspended time. It is as black as tar. The clown cannot fool anyone. He's not made from the material that heroes are carved from. He shall leave or state the true reason for his intrusion. Ah, uh, Chesky called Bobby sent me. The clown speaks words of nonsense. The path of the Chasky is a dangerous one. No Chasky would be so negligent of his honor as to abuse a useless child for his own purposes. Maybe I'm not as useless as I look. <laughs> he doubts the truth of his own words. How useful does he think he is? Well, it's true that I drop things quite frequently. I'm also not as strong and athletic as my brother. To be honest, there's nothing he couldn't do better than me, but... Enough! I've heard sufficient evidence. If this Chasky really exists, I want to talk to him in person. Why doesn't he come himself, instead of sending a useless child? He was attacked by the Asgill. Hmm... The Asgill have never advanced into the Autumn Forest before. Is the world in such a bad condition already? This is indeed disturbing news. What now? Can't you help him some way? If he really is a Chusky, he will be able to help himself. He told me you can interpret dreams. The Chusky neglected to give him an important piece of information. Shana only interprets dreams for important persons, not for clowns. I didn't come here as a clown. I'm helping Bobby carry out his mission. He even entrusted me with a Whispering Stone. What does he say now? The Whispering Stone is with us in the Autumn Forest. He shall show it to Shana. Well, I don't exactly have it on me right now. Miserable fool! The Whispering Stone is an important and powerful object. It shall be returned to the palace at once. What will happen if the Whispering Stone is not taken to Corona? The Whispering Stone is a powerful object. You said that already. While the Whispering Stone is not in its place in the Royal Palace, the equilibrium of the world is disturbed. This world will end. Like in my dream. The clown has dreamed of the end of the world. It was not a dream then. It was a vision. That... That's what I was trying to tell you the whole time. There are but a few people who can see doom in their dreams. I must discover more. I sense there is a mighty prophecy in this dream. So you're going to tell me what it means, right? Yes, but he won't be pleased. Is that part of the prophecy? Juggling with supernatural powers is not a circus act. He will hear things that were never meant for human ears. I hear Ben snoring every night. I don't shock easily anymore. The clown believes he cannot be shocked anymore. He is a fool. What gave me away? The baubles? He does not take Shauna seriously. It might be a mistake to reveal his fate to him. No, no. I'll be quiet already. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Please go on. Very well. He shall give a full account of the details of his dream. Well, first there is this rocky landscape. Everything is destroyed. I run as fast as I can, and then the rocks under my feet give way. Then 
All of a sudden, I notice a blue light and... Oh... Uh, hello? Shana? Shana, you... Uh, all of a sudden, you seem to be... Uh, I don't know... Tent. That's... Uh, that's pretty cool. Flashy eyes and everything. Kind of weird, but... Okay, enough of that. This is getting way too spooky already. Uh, Shana? Could you please kindly... Sadwick! Ah! This world is about to meet its end. Like the world in your dream, this one too will crumble. You, Sadwick, hold the fate of the world in your hands. Okay. You will be the one who dooms this world. What? It is your fate to destroy this world. What? No, no, hold it. Shana, no, you must be wrong. Hey, you haven't finished yet. I'm sure I'm supposed to... Save the world, aren't I? Oh, oh, that was a mighty vision. What did I say while I was in the trance? Well, we'd better, uh, better talk that over. Maybe later, okay? The clown must tell me what I prophesized. Yeah, all right, all right. I guess I have to get it off my chest sometime. You said I would... Uh... Yes? You told me... Phew... It's not easy. I just can't get the words out. You told me I would... Uh, save the world. Did I now? Yes. Save the world. Those were your words. But I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to do that. Well... He is in possession of the Whispering Stone? Yeah, um... In a way, yes. And the task is set. The Whispering Stone must be taken to Corona, to the King's Castle. Okay. And then the world will be saved and not destroyed, right? Yes. Just like in the prophecy. How do I get to Corona? It must be terribly far away. And I don't even have directions. Yes, the clown will need help. He mustn't lose time. The only way is to find Kalida. Kalida will take him to Corona. Kalida? Who's that? Another oracle? I hope it's easier to find her. Kalida lives in the middle of the lake. On the island? How am I ever supposed to get there? It is never easy to fulfill one's fate. Have you ever been wrong? Never. The prophecies always come true. But not always in the manner that one expected. So, there is room for interpretation. What does the clown insinuate? Ah, uh, nothing. I think I know what to do now. Everything is in the hands of a clown now. He is our last hope. Hey, another strange creature. Where did that come from? And what's that it's playing with? A strange little fellow. The way he clenches this red and white egg, he seems to be crazy about it. Ah, uh, you wanna swap? <laughs> Yeah? With this awesome red ball I have? <laughs> okay then, catch!
Bon appétit, Spot. Chadwick, no! Ah! Now look what you've done! Well, Spot seems to like it. He even liked his gallstones. He just doesn't know what's good for him. Or he wouldn't follow you around all the time. Show me what you can do. Big boy spot. I won't take one more step as long as those eyes are staring at me. Spot doesn't seem to have realized what we'll have to be going through. Haven't? We have to get to the island. I don't know either, but we'll have to come up with something. Well, let's see. <laughs> Those eyes were scary already, but this... Oh, oh dear, aren't those, uh, um, yeah, those uh, creatures that uh, prey on you in the depth of the forest and, and, and lure you into dangerous places? What are they called again? Chesky, uh, oracles. Oh no, uh, lightning bugs. Have they gone? Let's see where those lightning bugs have disappeared to. Hey, there's nothing here. Where have they gone? Maybe I'm going slightly mad. But the lightning bugs must have gone somewhere. Ah, uh, what the heck? There we go. There's a cavern under the tree. Huh. It seems to have rained through the hollow tree up there. But there's another distinct smell. <laughs> Is that petroleum? Hmm, too bad. The petroleum in the puddle isn't enough to soak the rope.
good idea. The petroleum soup is useful at last. Besides keeping the wolves away. The soaked rope would make a great fuse. It matches. That seems to be the right place for that. The pressure from the explosion would extend into the hollow tree trunk. I don't feel too enthusiastic about fireworks, but who gets what he wants all the time? Come on, Spot, show your stuff. Now let's get out of here, quick. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Quick, Spot. Come here. There it goes. Oh, oh dear. Um... Together with the last rays of the sun bathing the sky above the lake in autumnal red, Sadwick floated towards the island. A peculiar fatigue overwhelmed him in the cold air of the night closing in. Sadwick! What? Where am I? Oh no, not that dream again. Have I fallen asleep? You have never been more awake than now. What do you mean? What do you want from me? I want you to fulfill your destiny. This world must be destroyed by your own hand. I would definitely not do that. Never, do you hear me? If you do, you will perish together with this world. No, you're lying. This is all just a dream. I want it to stop. I want to wake up. Yes, Sadwick. It is time. Wake up. <laughs> 